What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for a Sybean Royalty Trust with the ticker symbol SBR. This was a viewer's request and thank you very much for your donation. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So here's the daily chart for SBR. I already uh, marked it up to save some time. So here are my drawings so far and I'll explain them right now. So what is price doing? Clearly it's not trying to go up, right? So it's dropping. But what is the reason for why it's dropping? Is because of um, this trend line in play. So you can see that, you know, this trend line right over here, price is not able to break through it. So we got rejected uh, for the third time back here in early August, mid to late, mid to early August at the trend line. So it's kind of confirming it. So we have this bearish imbalance currently in play. Price is mostly below the EMA. So cl clearly, price is not trying to go up. Even if we do go up, it's very weak. And then it's just, you know, followed by more selling. So clearly price is trying to go lower. And if it's trying to go lower, where, how much lower is it trying to go? So the most technical tool I can use to find a target and the most precise that I found is a measure move target. So we had one large drop down from back here in January up until March price pull back and that's when the second leg can start from when uh, price starts selling off right away after that. So this is one leg down, price pull back, this is the second leg down, targeting the 53.51 level. So the low 50s is the target for this downtrend. Not all measure moves are going to be reached, uh, but it's just a target for now and it looks like price has a good chance of reaching it. So uh, right now we did see the first attempt already, so this is the first attempt to reach the measure move target. And this is the second attempt. So usually the second attempt is a second and last attempt. Sometimes the second attempt could be in the form of two, two smaller attempts itself. But normally, you know, the second attempt that we're seeing right now is usually the last attempt. So uh, that's basically showing signs of weakness in this downtrend because it's already taken uh, the second attempt to reach it instead of the first attempt. See, the first attempt could have reached the measure target, but it got rejected from the $63 level. That's why this, horse, this, why this horizontal level represents support because price bounced off of it so many times. Now we're breaking down lower because obviously we're making lower highs and the bulls weren't really pushing off of this level that strongly. And then once price got below the EMA, that's the confirmation that you know the bulls gave up and they're gonna be getting out of their trade slash investment because um, you know bears are gonna be coming down on them. So uh, this is a bearish imbalance in play. They're targeting the $53 level, $53.65. And I think we're gonna be seeing that target fairly shortly. Uh, the whole market is falling down and this looks pretty bearish. So we just broke through the um, 63.24 level uh, and now the next target or the next level of support is right around the $57 level. Uh, that is near the 2022 lows. Uh, and then the next target would be the 53.70 level. So that would be my final target. The first one being the 57, next one 53. So I'm not saying this is the bottom, but you know, after two legs down, you don't see price just continue trending down lower most of the time. 90% of the time, you're going to see a bounce from here or price trade sideways, you know, just kind of take a break. Uh, so if we get here and if I'm going to be bullish, I want to see a trend reversal. First thing I want to see is price break this trend line. And the next thing I want to see is price get back above the EMA. So if we can do both and start making higher highs, higher low, back above the $63 level, then you know I think we're going to be trending much higher. So it would take you know a, a few things for me to be uh, back to being bullish uh, on this stock because right now the bears are uh, definitely taking the dominance, and I'm just looking for more downside. Is it's just uh, the least resistance area on the chart. So um, I think you know it's going to continue falling lower. I would say you know the 53.65 has a good chance of being reached. Again, not all measure moves are going to be reached. If This could just be a fail breakout and we could just reverse strongly right now. Is that likely? Uh, probably not. So that's what I'm saying. This is a good target for price to reach. But let's just say it is. It is a fail breakout. Then we need to see a break of the trend line. Price get above the EMA and, you know, pull back to hold it for support. And the pullback can't be, you know, a sharp move down. It needs to be weak like this. And then, you know, we're going to rip higher, something like that. So uh, that's what I want to see. Basically, what does that mean? It means that uh, the bulls are strong because we saw a nice push up and then the bears are weak because it couldn't drop down price that much. And then the bulls would take over once again. So that's what it means when I say uh, for me to be bullish, that is a typical reversal pattern. Um, so it's looking more bearish uh, by the day though. So here's the weekly chart. Price was mostly trading between the $87 level and the $63 level. 
there was a triple top in the past. I forgot to mention that on the daily chart, you see there was a triple top. Uh, price cannot pass that $88 level three times. We tested it once, twice, three times. Bulls gave up. And then clearly, you know, price was not in this upward, you know, trend line anymore. Price broke the trend line pretty strongly. And then, you know, obviously that was a signal that there's a strong bearish momentum coming in the market. Uh, so clearly, you know, on the weekly chart, we are strictly below the EMA, uh, like 99% of the times. There was one time price got near the EMA and above it back here in April, but majority of the time is below it. So this is clearly a bearish imbalance on the chart. Seeing a nice red bar this week, it might close red on the uh, given this Friday, and there's a good chance it'll continue to trend down lower. I'm looking for the $57 level, and then the 53. 53 is the uh, target that the bear is really trying to reach. We'll see if it's gonna be reached or not. Not all targets are guaranteed to be met, but if it's not, then you'll probably realize it. You know, you're probably gonna see something, uh, you're gonna see a strong reversal in the market if it doesn't look like the bears are trying to reach it. Um, and it also coincides with, uh, you know, the $51 resistance level in the past, because in the past there was resistance here and resistance here. Price broke through it, so it could be coming back to test it for support. So I'm looking for right around the low 50s for a potential, uh, at least a temporary bottom, meaning where price can start stalling out. And then, you know, maybe, you know, we'll see a reversal from there. I can't say for sure. We can always continue down lower. But that's basically what I see in the chart. So that's all I have for the daily and weekly charts. Thank you once again for your donation. Leave any questions and comments down below. And this is VTrades. Thank you for your time. The VTrades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.